Hello everyone, it's Wake Up. Alright, this is VP Yoshi 5 back with more Paper Mario Thunder Through Door. And um, on the last video, we took on the first half of the Pit of 100 Trials. And we also got the Ultra Hammer, which, again, like I probably already said, uh, it's kind of its power is. Eh, it's not as creative as the Ultra Jump was. So, yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. Okay, oh yeah, we're supposed to be looking for um, the pipe to. Oh, no, what am I thinking? I'm losing myself here. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we need a- we, we'll go back to and talk to Professor, Professor Frankly, and, uh... There you go. Alright, okay. <clears throat> I almost forgot, we were, we were about to level up, and- oh, what am I about? Yeah, we leveled up this time, and this time we'll go for FP. Ah. <clears throat> that stupid fuck, my boy. Okay, so anyway... Yeah, so we'll go up and talk to Professor Frankly here in a second, once we get done battling these guys. Get over here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Man, all these guys are really easy. I mean, doing nothing but battling each guy for the past hour. Oh boy. Yeah, this thing much be a ton of trials. The first half is really easy, it just takes forever. Even if you... Uh, even if you just blow through your FP, I mean, uh. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so we're finally back up the top of the world board, and let's see what Professor Frankly has to say. I mean, he's been researching this stuff for a pat for the past hour, so hopefully he'll figure something out. You'll know if he's um, there if you hear his music once you enter the building. Ah, excellent timing! I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to far out <clears throat> far outpost, and you must use a cannon there, and it will blast you. Um, excuse me? Or you think a cannon to reach the moon? Don't we want to live? <laughs> I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Uh, Count from Far Outpost speak of a device that can launch any anything anywhere. Even in the moon. Um, okay, uh, where is this certain death, <coughs> uh, Far Outpost, anyway? I believe there's a pipe to Far Outpost somewhere beneath Roport. But I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called an Ultra Hammer to get it. An Ultra Hammer? Um, didn't we already get one of those? Ah, well, I see. That certainly changed the subject now, doesn't it? Well, I'll use the Ultra Hammer to find the pipe to Far Outpost and get to it. Uh, yes, sir, Professor Frankly. Uh, we're off the Far Outpost. Oh, yes, one more thing you should be aware of. The bombs who live there are sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck. Get that last crystal star. Well, you start getting bossy. So anyway, yep, we're off to get the last crystal star. Um... I'm already... Yeah, oh yeah, I healed, um, since I kind of up. <laughs> that's right, so you don't need to use... So I don't need to use the, um... in. Uh... Yeah, I'll save. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, our curse that we got from early is probably almost as close to being running to running out, but I probably won't fill it up. I'll probably fill it up after this next chapter, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I need to talk about? Um, no, actually. <laughs> Actually, we won't be staying at Far Outpost very long, so if there's anything that you really want to do, you might as well just go to Far Outpost real quick and get that little uh, uh, part of the chapter done before doing whatever you want to do. So if you just come over here, we'll ish, yep, get rid of this concrete block, and now we can go to Far Outpost. Come on, there we are. And now is officially the start of Chapter 7. Wait for it. There we are. Chapter 7. It's all traumatic. Mario shoots the moon. <clears throat> Alright. Looks pretty. <laughs> Man, I'm doing the snow chapter right when summer hits. Perfect. Well, it's still May, I guess, but summer vacation, I guess. It is stupid cold. <laughs> Sorry, laugh every time I see you dead. It is stupid cold out here. <laughs> Come on, Gonzalez, let's move. Our outpost should be just up ahead, I think. <laughs> oh, I get him used easily. Okay, if you come over here, it's somewhere out here. I think. Yep, we get a badge, double dip P. During battle, your ally used two M's in one turn. 
Um, so that's fairly easy to get. It's easy to miss, though, so there you go. Um, as you probably guessed, the enemies we're about to counter are snow enemies, so um, Bobbery and Vivian are really good here because their uh, explosion attacks do extra damage. But again, they're pallet swaps the enemies we already face, so they shouldn't be a huge problem. I don't even remember how much HP they have. Whatever it is, it's just over 6. So, Ice Buff. Let's see what we got here. That's an Ice Buff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. Its HP is 9, attack is 4, defense is 0. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that, maybe. Okay, it's... Yes, not too bad so far. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so... Uh, so they have 9 HP, so I'll just use a uh, spin jump to get rid of this guy. Because we already have a little bit of HP off him. And then we'll just use Head Bonk, and these guys will be good to go. Alright, so... Uh, if 4 star points. That's not bad. It might be a little bit over-leveled, though. Because normally I think... That. Oh, well. I'm not gonna bother. Um, sure, we'll take out this guy. Okay, these guys are actually really easy. Yeah, that guy had an ice storm battle too. So I guess they also have cold items too. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a star, star piece in these bushes. Um, oops, one second. Okay, there we are. Uh, shoot. So here we have another new enemy, the frost piranha, if I remember right. Yeah, frost piranha. Okay. <coughs> So again, these guys are really simple, since they have a lot of, um, HP. Um, the Fire Drive, which we got in the, um, Pit of Hunter Trials, may be useful here. Um, but it's like I said earlier, we won't be spending a, spending a whole lot of time in this area, so I mean, it not be really worth it just to equip it for a few battles, but... That's a frost, that's a frost promise. Cool customer with strong ice powers. My HP is 10 attacks, 5 and defense is 0. It's fighting attacks sometimes freezes us, so try to mobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks, too, so use them as well. Okay. Ah, whoops. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, these guys will attack us, no big deal. Uh... Now we'll just switch to Vivian and just use her uh, fire engine, I guess. Yeah, like, uh, the path to Far Outpost isn't very long, so if you want to use the in there, I mean, no, that's not what I want to say. If you want to use, um, your FP moves, then, yeah, go ahead and use them. We won't, we won't really be needing them that badly. And it's because I really like this move for some reason. We'll finally them to keep them from attacking us. Well, I guess only one. Whatever. I should probably unfreeze Mario, but... Yeah, because I thought that would be more effective against these guys. Oh, well. Uh... I'll just take care of this guy, because the other one's just going to kill itself on the next turn. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not the best strategy. Dang it! I thought that could at least work. Uh. Oh, brother. Okay, so that wasn't a very smart move on my part. Oh, well. I was I was being a little too, um... Clean. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. So, let's continue on. <coughs> Man, the vector curse increase your coins, and... Oh, wow. I thought the curse would surely be out by now. Oh, well. Oh well, oh well, I need to stop saying that. So let's hurry and continue onwards. Um, should we attack this guy? I'm not giving us mini star points. Yeah, I might as well. Fine. Okay! <clears throat> ah, man, I'm sorry guys, really. I had this cold for uh, two weeks now, and I thought my cough would at least be gone by now. Oh well. Um, we're right outside the city limits, so I'll, uh, I'm just gonna cut it off right here. Sorry, the video's a little short, but... Ah, uh, what can you do? Um, so this has been Vufio Shape 5 with Paper Town to your door, and we'll see you next time. Alright, peace out, guys.